arrived when Tyler Lancaster needed medical attention on Saturday. Lindley and his staff were by his side, as they have been since Lancaster stepped on campus in 2013. In Tyler's case, uh, it, was, it was the understanding of his inability to be the best that he could be. I just wasn't coming back from these injuries and uh, and I was like I'm, I'm tired all the time. I felt like I wasn't recovering from the lifts. I always felt sore. Um, it felt pretty terrible but I thought like this is the way college football is. You know I, I just came in for the training staff and was telling them these things and they thought well maybe we should get this checked out and it turned out to be pretty big. Some of the things that Tyler was describing to us were really strongly indicative that he was not able to maximize his rest, uh, his nocturnal rest. The staff diagnosed Lancaster with sleep apnea. And within a matter of weeks, the results became evident. Um, credit to the training staff for that because um, if it weren't for the sleep machine, I don't know where I'd be right now. Lancaster did a very good job of keeping his eyes up. He could see him coming around and you could see the speed of the young sophomore. Well, Tyler's ability to now get rest and to be able to recover has directly uh, shown a benefit to his performance, not only on the field, but also in the weight room. I'm not sure we've had a player stronger than Tyler Lancaster. You know, his work ethic in the weight room is second to none. With a goal to reach 42 bench reps at the upcoming NFL Combine, Lancaster has set his future sights on the next level of football. But before that, his hard work has made him a Northwestern captain while earning the program's highest honor. And this year, the privilege of wearing the jersey number one, the Wildcat, is Tyler Lancaster. Big man. Yeah. Well, Tyler is the Wildcat. You know, his teammates elected him jersey number one for a reason, his commitment to the team. He's a relentless teammate. He's a terrific leader. And while Tyler has overcome his challenges on the field, the Lancaster family has been fighting a battle far more important than football. After my dad was diagnosed and he, you know, it was, it was really hitting him hard. Um, it was an aggressive form of cancer and, and the tumors started spotting up really quickly. So it affected a lot of different things. Like I said, his speaking and his, his ability to swallow, um, those were all heavily affected. So, you know, I, he's the biggest Cats fan you're going to find. And, and I knew that the right gift, the perfect gift, would be to get him a helmet with the team's signatures on it. No way! <laughs> that is so cool! Oh my god! I love the helmet! Oh man! This is so cool! Oh my to see him with that much joy, because it's been a really long time since we've seen that, because of all the things he's gone through. Um, to see him with that much joy was just inspiring. You guys are the greatest. I love you guys so much. You don't care.